Yeah, like it's so draining. I don't even want to talk about it right now. I had to get on here um i was back and forth on um, posting this video or uh, posting this uh versus was i gonna put the sound on or was i gonna take it off so i decided to take the sound off because you know this is my view of being a stylist my day-to-day -day life of being a hairstylist and i don't want to you know embarrass the client or however y'all to know you know who it is
y'all. It was draining. Let's see. That was draining. I tell y'all when I get done with my next client because my next client is on the way. So I want to sit down and talk. And I don't want to rush.
All right, y'all. Today has ended. And, uh, yeah, it was a crazy one. Y'all want to see the y'all want to see the sunset? Huh? Check out that sunset, that beautiful sunset. Like that. It's so beautiful. Uh oh, here's my chart out of the way. It's beautiful. Pretty dope, y'all. That I can. Uh oh. Y'all see that sunset? Yeah, it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. I get to watch the sunset and do hair. But yeah, y'all. Let me tell y'all about what happened today. My last client, she's a uh, she's been with me before, and I enjoy her. I enjoyed her. So yeah, she got great energy, fresh and you know, especially after what I just went through. But yeah, y'all, doggone client. The, the, the first one I had. So yeah, like it's so draining. I don't even want to talk about it right now, but I, I want to let y'all know everything. This is behind the scenes of a hairstylist. Regular life, like, this is real. So uh, yeah, like, when it started, I was like, when she came in, her hair, of course, you know, I'm okay with it, you know. My, if you wanna disrespect somebody's business, I mean, disrespect the hairstylist and their business, don't read anything on their site. Don't read the policies, don't read nothing, because that's gonna set the tone for the appointment. It's, it's so hard to shake back from the appointment when, when you come in and you're not prepared, you come in to pay money, pay a service, and don't come into an appointment not prepared and knowledgeable of who the heck is doing your hair. Like, I mean, you will read policies and stuff, hopefully, when you're going to these big corporations like Walmart, Target, all that, if you buy some or you get something where you have to read, you know, or if you returning something in a spot, you got to hit the policy. But, yeah, like, I know she was asking for, asking about a service and, and adding a service because she just did a silk press. And um, the silk press was, when she came in, I knew instantly that her hair hasn't been touched by a silk press in a long time and it was damaged and uh it needed more than a silk press but she booked silk press so i knew like hey i'm gonna have to make it work but i can make it work with treatments if you don't have a treatment i could try to make it work especially if i got somebody behind me because of course i ask you to add on the service to better your silk press finish but if um you know if I don't have time, I can make it work. But if it's if your ends are not in good state, I try to drive that. Like, hey, you didn't book a trim, you didn't book a cut, so I'm just gonna let you know at the beginning of the service that this silk silk press is not going to look right. It ain't. It's not gonna look right. It's not gonna be flowy, especially if it's damaged. Like. If your hair strands are damaged as well as um, trying to get us, you know, as well as not having treatments or anything, uh, and it's y'all, it's not the texture is not the issue. Like, man, I could silk out from four A to Z. I could silk out some hair, but if your text, if your hair itself is not in a good healthy state. That's the work. That's where the work is the struggle. That's where we struggle with as hairstylists. We're sipping out and you trying to get your hair to look like these Instagram people and other sites like TikTok. Like, man, you got to know that, yeah, that's good footage. Yeah, that's a sleigh, a silk sleigh. But that person's hair is healthy. It's in a healthy state. 
Like, you got to keep that in mind. Like, man, like, this, that'd be my thing. Like, I get it. But, so the thing was, like, I get you come in. Um, now, your hair not the best state. And you're trying to learn, you know, how to better it. But if you come in and you kind of don't feel comfortable, uh, you think you you think you kind of knowing everything, or if you don't know it, you're not trying to listen. Like I'm trying to tell you how to build your hair, and you're not listening to it. You every time I say something, you're like, uh huh, okay, well, yeah. You cutting me off. Like I know you're not taking it in, and you're just gonna have your hair looking crazy. And my thing is the people that the the clients that give stylists, and I know stylists and vouch for this. The people that give stylists issues the most with their hair is the ones that has the most damaged hair. Like the most, the people that has the most damaged hair is the ones that that give us the most problems. Or like, oh, don't touch my hair this way, don't touch my hair that way. Or they scared that I'm gonna tell the hell and your hair already tore up. Tell tell me how that makes sense. Like, don't care about your hair now. Don't decide to care about your hair now when I'm touching it. That's my thing. Like, don't decide to be that part. Like, I get you caring about it coming in, but don't don't try to, okay, now I'm being very careful with my hair. Like, no, trust that I can take care of your hair. You've seen my work. You've seen it all. I always ask class, like, hey, if it's a, if they showing like they don't trust me in the service and it's becoming awkward, like yeah, I I'm not the type that will keep it in. I would let you know like, hey, have you how did you how you come across me? How did you hear about me? Have you checked out my work? All the above, and then if the appointment becomes to where it's kind of disrespectful, where I can tell that you having a big issue with me doing your hair. Like I, I'm the type I will literally stop the appointment, and I'm not I'm not that type of where I'm being mean to you. I'm not feeling a cushy out. I, I know how to do customer service. I went to school with four hair. They taught us customer service. I, went, I had jobs with customer service. I know how to talk to somebody. But if you, I will literally stop doing stop the service. I will turn you around, or I will t come to you. And like, hey, you know, I I would tell them as it is. I would tell them what's on my mind. I would tell them like, hey, if you don't feel comfortable with me doing your hair, I completely understand, and we can stop the service. Bing, bang, bang. Like sometimes I even refer you to somebody. Maybe they can do because I know that just like the clients, just like clients try to find good hairstylists for them, just like stylists, like. Man, all clients not gonna work for me. So like yeah, like man, it's it's crazy. So then like at the end of the appointment, I purposely like I asked her, I was like, uh, so how are you going to take care of your hair? So so I could see if she was really taking it in. And I knew I knew she wasn't. And she said, I just don't know how to No, I like no. So I literally told you that this is how you this is what you need to take care of your hair so i made sure that she and take took it in you know because it was annoying i was drained but my big thing is her taking in with the health of her hair because i told her you know i said you are too young for your hair to be this damaged and i've had clients that are of age that's older that wish that they took care of their own hair too because because now they're in a state of where they don't even they can't even wear their hair their own hair no more. They have to wear wigs or other types of styles. Like I had a client where her own kids never seen her hair because she felt that insecure about her hair and then it had got that bad over the amount of years because she neglected it. She looked at hair her hair as secondary and weaves as first primary so like yeah like man so like I didn't want to kind of get on her but I was like like yeah like cuz you know I try not to be like oh if this if the appointment but like yeah like 
man, even though I'm drained and I'm ready for you to get up out of my chair and I don't want to do your hair no more, man, I'm feeling, you finna learn something before you leave this chair. You might not ever come back to me again, but I got to let you know, like, hey, this is how it is. Like, I'm just trying to let you know, to educate you. If you rather you come to me or not, please take these keynotes and please better your hair. Don't just say I'm going to be better when you come in this chair and then go back to your old ways. Please make this be your first day of your journey of bettering your hair. So, so yeah, y'all, it, it was crazy. But anyway, overall, I still had a good day of appointments. So, I'm finna get ready to leave up out of here. I know uh, EC, EC made, made a deco. Woodard, she uh, has like this monthly call in uh, on Discord. So I'm gonna try to catch that uh, while I'm headed back home. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed today because I did. <laughs> so yeah, all right y'all.